Hi, today I'm going to talk about maximizing your burial scan flash by adding a rapid stack to it. To automate the burial scan with the rapid stack, you need a piece of software called Polera RS. And today I'm going to demonstrate some of the functionality of the Polera RS software when used with the burial scan. Here you'll see the welcome page of Polera RS. And you can see in the center of the screen that we have the driver for the burial scan flash installed. To start a protocol, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pan over so you can see the top right corner and I'm just going to collect, click on Create New Assay. What we have here is the working area of Polera RS. Over on the far left hand side, we have the functionality of the rapid stack and the varial scan that we can drag and drop into our process editor. So I'm just going to pull Run Session over into the center of the screen. I'm going to pan over to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the properties on the Vario Scan. So I'm going to change just a quick timeout there. And what I really want to show you is the session. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the little arrow at the right of the session and what you can see is I've pulled through all the protocols that are stored within the Vario Scan and the Scanit software. So I'm just going to pull through an ELISA demo protocol. And then to start this assay, all I have to do is click Run This Assay at the top of the screen. I'm going to pan over to the center of the screen. And this is just one more start assay run. It shows you that plates are in the source or the front stack. Empty stacks are in the back. All I have to do is click on the Start Now button. What you're hearing in the background is the rapid stack just homing and preparing itself. And the varial scan will run through its sessions as well. You'll see that on the screen, we have actual icons of the instruments. So we have the Vario scan there on the left and the rapid stack in the center. What the Polera RS software is going to tell you once it gets started is what it's doing at all times. So it will get a plate from the rapid stack, it'll tell you what number plate that is, and it'll show you that it's either taking it into their Vario scan or that it could be storing a plate and you'll see that momentarily on the screen. So right now you can see that new boxes have popped up on the screen. The rapid stack retrieved a plate and now it's moving a plate over to the Vario scan. You can see a little arrow. And you can see container one, session is being run on it. This is a fairly short uh, protocol so I'm just going to let that run and we'll see what happens on the screen for plate two. Okay, so the Vario scan is now opening up, presenting its plate, and the rapid stack is going to pick up that plate and then store it. So you can see it's moving the plate on the screen back to the rapid stack, and it's now storing container one into the back stack, and now it's picked up container two, and it's moving that container over to the Vario scan and the Vario scan is going to run the same protocol on container number two. At the same time, you can see that the rapid stack had prepped plate number three. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pan up so you can just take a quick peek at the rapid stack pulling those plates. So 
what you can see is the Vario scan nest there and the rapid sat arm just waiting for that door to open. So the session has ended, the plate comes out, the rapid stack picks up container two, and then it's going to store it. It's moving back to the rapid stack, storing that plate, picking up container number three now, and it's going to deliver that to the nest. And the Vero scan nest will enter. It's going to run the protocol. And in the meantime, the rapid stack is prepping plate number four. And then the arm comes out and waits for the Vero scan to be complete. So you can see how the rapid stack really maximizes the uptime of your instrument. Thank you for watching this presentation.